FHS. I'm Aniston. And I'm Kiana. Today is Tuesday, August 30th. Today is National Beach Day. And now on to sports. <laughs> Good morning, Lion fans. I'm Mamie. I'm Jackson. And I'm Casey. And you're watching The, the Locker Room Report. Report. Girls track trials will be Wednesday, September 28th and Thursday, September 29th from 3.15 to 4.45. All participants must be completely registered and eligible in Dragonfly in order to try out. Please wear the appropriate attire and athletic shoes and bring water to stay hydrated. See Coach Dixon in room 924 for additional information if needed. Go Lions! Tomorrow, Lady Lions volleyball team will be going to get the Scamia High School away at 5 and 6. See y'all there. Our first home football game of the season is this Thursday at Ivan Jones against MGM at 7. The theme is caution or you can wear your best neon outfit. We need our student section to show up and show their lion pride. Yeah, that's cool. I'm Pete. And I'm Amelia. And this is Jokes of Pete and Amelia. Tell ya, what, what shoes do robbers wear? I'm not a robber, so I don't know. Sneakers. <laughs> well, you actually have some pretty cool shoes on today, Pete. Tomorrow, Wednesday, August 31st, is Picture Day. This year, we're holding a contest for the home room with the highest percentages of purchases of our school pictures. The winner will win a breakfast and morning with coffee. Hey, Mamie, do you know anything about the senior class trip this year? Yeah! This year, we'll be going to Universal Studios Grad Bash, Disney's Animal Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, and Magic Kingdom. This trip is April 21st through 24th. See Ms. K in room 920 for more information. Now watch this video for details on the Grad Bash. Tuesday, September 6th at 3.15 in room 602. Hey guys, I'm Brady. And I'm Sorelli. And we're here with birthdays again for Sunday's birthdays. Happy birthday to James Nicholas. For Ron Rosales. Gregory Gillard. Rebecca Hintley. Carlos Marquez. Emily Jones. Aubrey Holmes. Nicole Vargas. Grace Watkins. And for Monday's birthdays, happy birthday to Tucker Averitt. Cooper Baker. Morgan Hodge. Gessia Reyes. And for today's birthdays, happy birthday to Aileen Riley. Zoe Dumas. And Allison Ramiro. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. And now for your newest and best LPN segment. Motivational Moments with Mr. Basic! Hello, Lion fans. Uh, today's quote of the day is, an oyster makes a pearl out of its irritation, and what do you make of yours? And so what this is trying to say, what an oyster actually does, if a grain of sand or any contaminant gets inside an oyster, it surrounds it with a mother of pearl and turns it into something really pretty. So instead of it festering and making things really, really bad, it turns something bad into something pretty. So what we're trying to do is help you to see the good side of things and hopefully might make, not make a bad thing worse, make it turn into something good. Okay, hope this works out for you. Hope you have a great day. See you later. And that's all for Motivational Moments with Mr. Basic. Good morning, everyone. This morning, you received your progress report for your current standing in your classes, as well as your advisory sheet for this school year. Um, for those of you who are new, we're gonna walk through all this together. And even those of you who have done this before, we've added a few things to this process. So we wanted to walk you through and show you exactly how to fill this form out for the very first time. So the first thing you wanna do is actually list your courses at the top of the sheet. So based on this progress report of this student, our first class is biology, so we would just put bio. Then we have career prep, English, entrepreneurship, geometry, and then world history. We are missing a grade on this progress report, so you would know what your seventh period course is and you would just write that there. 
The next thing you wanna do is after you've listed your courses is go through and list what your current grade is for that class. If you know that your grade is higher than what is printed on your progress report, it is absolutely okay to put the grade that's showing on power schools. Just be sure to show that to your homeroom teacher so that we can verify that is your actual grade. So currently in biology, we have a 100. In our career prep course, we have a 96. In English, we have a 100. Entrepreneurship, we have a 100. Geometry, we have a 76. And history, we have a 100. And again, we're missing a grade here, so we're just gonna draw a line. The next thing we need to do is figure out our quality points. This is how we average out our GPA for each advisory period. So if we have a 100 in biology, that means we have a four because that's gonna be between a 90 and a 100. Same thing with career prep, we have a four. English is a 100, so we have another four. Entrepreneurship is a 100, we have another four. With geometry, we have a 76. So again, you can refer back up here to your list. A 79 to a 70 is gonna give you a quality point of two. So we have a two in geometry, and then again, we have a 100 in history, so that's a four. And then we would draw another line here. Once you have these numbers, then you need to average out your GPA. So since we have six numbers total, I'm gonna add these numbers together and divide by six. So we have five fours, which we know four times five is 20, plus two is a 22, divided by six gives me a 3.67. We only want you to go to the second decimal point and obviously you know how to round up. So we have a 3.67 currently. Now, what's new for everyone is we also are tracking absences and tardies in each of our classes. So as of right now, based on this progress report, this student has zero absences and zero tardies for all of his classes, which is incredible. So we just, that's gonna make this job really, really easy. So we'll just record zeros all the way across. Again, leaving these blank. Then we wanna look at any full day absences and you will find that up here where it says days absent because it could be that you, maybe you missed first period but you checked in. So you don't have any full day absences, you just have one absence from a course. So look at days absent and record how many full day absences you have. Once you've completed this chart, your teacher will meet with you one-on-one -on -one to talk about your current progress it is these two numbers, these two boxes, that your teacher will enter into our GPA tracker for the point system for the Lion Pride Conference. Um, remember this year we have even better prices, so you definitely wanna make sure that you're keeping up with your grades, keeping those where we need them to be um, in order to do well. That's it, FHS. Right. Have a great day and, and go, go Lions. Lions.